Hello and welcome to yet another build request from an extremely long time ago. But in my defense, it does come from Cody who suggested I play Terraria. And now we're seven episodes into a series in which I'm doing in Terraria, so, well, it didn't go fully ignored. This one's not exactly that technically impressive, but it was a good fun replica to make. And as you may have seen from the comment I posted up on the screen just now, Cody has requested a flying pyramid, which is a pyramid that flies. I constructed the vehicle almost entirely out of wedges, creating its sides with wedges on its sides and creating its corners, or whatever you call it where two sides join up, with wedges on their diagonals. If done right, the base of your vehicle should be a diamond or a square, depending on your perspective, made up of wedges. And then on the inside of the sides, I placed another layer of wedges facing the opposite way so as to connect all the wedges together. And then on top of those inverted wedges, I then placed corner blocks. While these corner blocks and wedges don't actually come together fully and form a proper side, from a casual glance, they do the job okay. And then on the inside of the pyramid, I hit the driver's seat, fuels, small jets to take off, and large jets to go forwards. Oh, and of course, I painted the whole thing yellow because it's totally made of sand. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a flying pyramid within Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Kind of like the flying pyramids in the original Stargate movie, which is nowhere near as cool as the Hatak pyramids in the Stargate series. Which got me thinking, hey, I've got a flying pyramid, I might as well go the whole nine yards and build a Hatak. So without any further ado, let's get on to that. Now, firstly, I did cheat just a little bit because the pyramid ships in Stargate are actually three-sided pyramids, and, well, in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, it's pretty much impossible to make a three-sided pyramid. Believe me, I tried. So instead, I just made the entire ship, pyramid included, four-sided rather than three. In my defense, the pyramids at Giza have four sides, not three, and if in the universe of Stargate, three-sided pyramids were impossible, the Gould's vessels would have totally ended up looking like mine. Once again, just like the regular pyramid, the Hatak Stargate ship is not that technically complicated, but it was a good fun replica to make. It is essentially just a ring that sits around the midsection of the pyramid, connected in a couple of spots, and is still entirely powered and controlled by the components I put inside the pyramid at the start of the video. So there you have it, the Hatak Gould Stargate Pyramid Ship. A relatively simple and quick build that was fun to make and probably at least a little bit interesting if you're a Stargate fan. If you've not seen Stargate, go watch it. It has MacGyver in it. The original MacGyver, not the new one. You know, Richard Dean Anderson. If you want to recreate this vehicle yourself in your own game save, after I stop talking, there will be the layer-by-layer -layer reconstruction of it. And if you want to see me build it from scratch, the grim builds of this vehicle will be up tomorrow. So with all of that said and done, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time, I have been and still am Grim Grindle.